The neutral train has touched out. Yeah. So, no promises that it's a simple and subtle situation here because. I do not play with the slave of full glam. No, I do not. Cause full glam's what I do, not the face. Duh. Ha! Hello, hello my awesome. Welcome back to my channel. I am your host, Natalie J as usual. And if you are new, hi. Hello there. Welcome to my awesome weirdness. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how I achieve my full glam makeup, no makeup look. So let's get into this slayage. Of course, no glam face is complete without a perfect base. So to start things off, I'm going in with my Black Opal True Color Foundation and just applying it everywhere. And by everywhere, you know what I mean. Don't go putting it on shut your mouth. <laughs> what would I do without sensory? Thank you. Now I'm going with my BH and LA Girl Super Combo, oh, by the way, and I'm just gonna highlight my face. So because it's more of a neutral glam, I'm just gonna stick to the top of my cheekbones and neutralize the color on my cheekbone, just so I won't spread the concealer everywhere. I mean, it never really works anyways, but I can still try. Also, just a quick pointer, you don't have to use a concealer that is lighter than your skin tone. You can actually go in with a neutral concealer because the more neutral the concealer, the more natural the look will turn out. Then there is me, cause I'm very blah, 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 extra. I want to see the highlight and contour pop. Cause why not? Go big or go home, right? And I'm not going home. Ha! Now I'm going with this banana powder and a small fluffy brush. I'm just gonna begin the set-in process. Now a tip I would suggest, especially if you're a beginner at makeup, is to lay one thin layer down first, just to make sure everything is in place before you proceed. Why you may ask? Well, more chances than not, putting a big mashup of powder at the same time underneath your eye, especially if you do not know what you're doing, can cause kind of a cracked cakey effect in. We don't need that. So not only just starting with one thin layer gives you more precision and control, it's kind of a first class ticket to an inevitable flawless finish. You know what I'm saying. It pretty much decreases the chances of a mistake and can't go wrong there, right? And ba bam booyah! Ha! Now to sculpt this canvas to a T. Taking this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation as per usual because it's like my holy grail. I'm just going to sculpt my cheekbones in any kind of contour area that needs to be. You know, sculpt it to the gods. I'm trying to be snatch, honey, okay? Like, epically. Pray to the gods and I'll be your million. Ta. Shh, shh, shh. Ha. Now I'm going with this base from P. Louise in Rumor 8. I'm just going to go in and sculpt on my nose because... Uh, your face is not snatched without your nose being snatcher, okay? <laughs> okay, I totally, totally made that rule up. But just go for it, snatch your nose, do it, cause why not, right? Like Mackie said, uh, yes. just do it uh, mm. for all the slim uh, and narrow nose mm. of the world. Uh. Take us to church, sis. Yeah, she done lost her god. Shut your mouth. Ha. Point is, snatching your nose is a make or break the look type situation, so choose wisely. Now, even though you use the concealer to snatch your nose, it's time to set it. You know, make the snatch even snatchier. We talked about this. Truth is, any kind of moisture that you place on your face in a makeup routine, any kind of liquid product or anything, I would personally suggest that you set it, even if you're trying to achieve a matte look or not. Because let's be honest, the last thing you want is to be out and about and your whole face is falling off. Like, Bruh. nope, 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 not having it. I did go in with some translucent powder and set the center because as you guys notice, I only put the darker powder on the sides of it. So and like we said earlier, if you don't set everything, the humidity is gonna make your entire face slip and slide, honey, okay? Now taking this eyeshadow in the Zulu by Juvia Space palette as my bronzing color, I'm just gonna go over my contoured area and just buff everything onto a more flawless finish. So quick TMI, bronzing is like my blush because I'm not particularly fond of blushes. I don't think it personally suits me. So I extra double time on bronze, you know. <laughs> I guess I'm low-key making up for the fact that I don't really use blush, but maybe one day I'll get into it. For now, it's really not my cup of tea. So 
yeah so since i just added like major contour into my face i'm just going to kind of neutralize it with this buffin process just to kind of make sure all the harsh lines are gone because we don't need that and to do that i'm taking some translucent powder in whatever layers you want one two ten fifty and just kind of going over the contoured area and just fluffing everything out where the lines are it is definitely optional but highly suggested can you look at the difference it absolutely makes with this contouring? Like, yes. And I'm all here for it. Like, now I'm going with my Captain Saver highlighter. And I'm just going to put it on the cheekbones and any kind of highlighted points that I want it to be. And of course, you already know when it comes to the glow flow, it is not a game, honey. I want to glow from every corner of this earth. Aliens, can you see me? Ha! Like, no kidding. I would legit put layers and layers of this stuff and still not be sufficed because glow is life. Literally. Now going with this BH Studio Concealer, I'm just gonna magic snatch my brows because can't forget about those. Snatch. And since it's a neutral type of look, I'm just gonna take the contour shade in the palette here and I'm just gonna go in on my eyeshadows just to kind of give it some color. You don't need to do this. You can just leave them how they are. But because I put concealer on them, which changed the shade of it from my skin tone, I have to kind of neutralize it back to where it has to be. Um, a quick TMI that can save you from this step actually is if you use a neutral concealer, to carve your brows on like what I did and use the lighter concealer because I like them to be super carved <laughs> that would make your lids more neutral and then you wouldn't have to actually put eyeshadow on it to tone it back down so talk about giving myself more work right <laughs> and now for the star of the show well in her own bracket anyways I cannot have favorites I refuse taking a flawless pair of Amazon lashes and this cool glue I'm just going to apply my lashes and let me tell y'all listen Listen, <laughs> y'all, this is where it got super, super real, like, epically real. How real did it get, you may ask? <laughs> uh, struggle real, duh. Bruh. Ha! <laughs> no, all jokes aside, for real, y'all, this was so, like, it was giving me the time of my life, and <sighs> I was not here for it, and oh no. No, seriously, I was like, I was up and over it, but in the end, it did work out. I popped both of them on there like I was a professional from birth. What up? <laughs> and if you're anything like me and you struggle from lash application struggulation, a point I would honestly suggest is look down into a mirror. Simple, right? No, seriously, this makes it so much easier. Struggle conquered and what up? <laughs> if you like her, then you love her for her weirdness. Weird. <laughs> I need to apply the gel, seriously. Last so long, I got a built in pair of shoes. Uh, bars. Um, is American Idol still hiring? No, no, they're not. Okay. All right. Ha, ha. Now that we have everything, including ample servings of random weirdness, let's move on to the lip. Going in with this brown liner, I'm just going to line the perimeter of my lips just to kind of get everything started. And since it is in fact a neutral glam, this is why I would suggest personally that you just put a gloss on if you're not big on like lip color and stuff. But because extra do what extra does, here I am. Hello. It's me. Now taking this matte lipstick, it's about like two or three shades uh, lighter than the lip liner that I just applied. I'm just going to apply it all over my lips. Now for all the non-makeup maniacs out there, you're probably going to look at this and think, um, is that not the same color? Well, it's not, okay? It is totally different. Ha! Now since we're going for an ombre effect, I'm just going to take a way lighter color and just top that into the center. And just blend everything to perfection by m m m m m in my lips. Or just, you know, you can use a brush. It's really up to you. And voila! Ombre on epic flickery. Yes, looking real ombrified. Ha, ha. Now to top everything off, I'm just gonna go in with this gloss from Revlon and just apply it over everything that I just placed on my lips. You know, it's kind of like the finishing move. Like, finish him. <laughs> and that's about everything for the lips, so pose, yeah. Bruh. Now what I'm doing is fluffing any excess powder that I do not need away from my face because we are done with that. Uh, security? Escort her out, please. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, lightening up. It's just powder. Ha, ha. Now that the hauntiness is all out of my system, for now, I'm just gonna go on to mascara. <laughs> Taking this milk mascara, I'm just gonna apply it to my bottom lashes in light brush strokes because you don't want too much. It's still a neutral look, you know? And of course, no look is complete for me without a waterliner because it just makes everything 
Subtle yet super effective, right? Oh yeah! Then conceal and set everything using your wondrous H2O mist. Wet it up, wet it up! And set! That's it, y'all. Thanks again so much for rocking it with me. As per usual, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Until next time. Oh, yeah. bye. Like, comment, and all that good stuff. Until next time, ciao!